instead of using goat skin to use cow skin, this has 21 strings as the norm. So the people that played this instrument, just like they had the hunt, the hunters, right? They had big marks too. Well, they had the, the historians, the historians, and the people who did genealogy. They were called the jolly. Okay, everybody say the jolly. The jolly or the jelly. The jelly. Another name for them in English is Grio. So the Grio, he's responsible for telling all everybody about their culture keeping the history of Africa, the kings, uh, genealogy, and so forth and so on. Matter of fact, Alice Hayden, in order to find part of his roots when he wrote the movie, he went to Africa. They had it at the end of the movie. When he's in Africa, he had to sit there and listen to the, because the Rios couldn't, he was trying to find where his ancestors was in, in the name, you know, because in the songs, right? So he had to sit there for days but they go through all the songs in history until his father's name came up. So they have, he was, like the story says in Africa, he was taking, he was out there, fetching some wood for a drum, and got snatched up. Because there was so much craziness going on at that time. But, uh, you know, it's definitely connected with the history of Africa. But, but again, to get back to the Quora, Again, every, every design you're going to see is different. I'm going to see if I can show you a picture. Again, I'm just going to see because I don't want to get to talking too much. But I think it's like important for us to know that our connection with you, with the music, and how we have used music in Africa to survive you know, what we was going through with slavery. And, yes, the, the designs on them, are they, do they have meanings behind them? Yes, everybody puts their own design. A lot of, you know, we try to do a lot of, uh, Cardinal points like cross, mm -hmm. north, east, south, and west. Mm -hmm. But it's definitely mixed in with cosmology and spirit. Because the harps are very special. They, you know, like King David, he was using a harp to heal. It was this culture that when they would, you know, the high priests of, uh, of the Hebrew Israelites, and not only the Hebrew Israelites, but the Egyptians all over Africa, they used the harp and certain instruments for healing, like the drum, too, for communication and ritual. So it plays an important role in everyday society and life. But the uh, but the uh, the harp and uh, so I'm gonna just show you the size of how big the boards can get. Can everybody see that? So that's a normal size, board, but it's just more better if we travel lighter now because it's hard to get through doors sometimes. It's, it's hard because they it's super, super big. But now it's electronic. I don't have to you know love around the big thing. But, so this guy, this, this gentleman right here, he's a great master corps. But his, uh, his lineage was going back to 71 generations of playing this instrument passed down from father son to father son. So that means that they had the Quora already in the fifth century AD. So it's been around for a long time. And this one's not the first one. Like I said, they had the Hunter's Heart that came thousands of years before the Quora came. This is one of the latest ones that came at this time, but it was also the purpose. So this one doesn't sound good acoustically, but what I'm going to do is uh, plug it up. I know it might be hard for everybody to see, but I'll plug it up so you can kind of get the style, get an idea of how uh, deep the 